Hey fellas, this is Joe from Team Animaker and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an animation like the one you're watching right now. Come on, let's get started. This is how the web page of Animaker looks like. So you click on the create your first video icon over here and you will be redirected to the registration or the sign up page. Enter the required details and sign up or you can directly sign up using your Google account over here. Once you are done signing up, you will be redirected to the dashboard page of the Animaker application. So this is how the dashboard looks like. Here you have different use cases like cartoon videos, video ads, templates for social media posts, invites or wishes and so on. You can use any one of these templates but for our purpose I'm going to select the create icon over here and again select this create video icon and select blank page. Once you click on it, you will be redirected to a new blank project. This is how the interface of the Animaker application looks like. On the center you have the workspace, right hand side you have the scenes section, bottom you have the timeline section. On the left, you have the library or the assets that you can make use of to create your videos. So before starting to create your video, have an idea of what you want to create. Let's say I want to create a short animated video intro for myself. As the first step, I'm going to introduce a background to the scene. So I'm going to the background section over here. As you can see, there are a lot of different background options over here. But I want a background which looks more like an office. So I'm going to this office section over here and selecting a background. So the next asset or property that I want to bring into the scene is a character. So I'm going to the character section over here. There you have a lot of pre-built characters presented in the application. But I want my video look more unique. I want a unique customized character. So what can I do about it? Yes, you have an option to build your unique customized character. To do that, click on the my character section over here and select create your own character. Once you select it, you will be redirected towards a new page called Character Builder section. I want a male character, so I am selecting this one. And again, you have a lot of different characters to begin with. See, I am selecting this character. So on the right hand side, you can see you have options to change the skin color of this character. As I am fine with the current color, I am going with this. And at the right hand side, you can see you have a lot of different options to change different parts of the character. If I want to change the hair, I can change the hair. I have options to add wrinkles. I have options to change the nose, lip. When I can add a lot of different attires, a lot of different wearables to this character. Let's start with hairstyle. I want a professional looking hairstyle. So I'm going to hairstyle section. I'm selecting this hairstyle. I think this looks fine. Now what I want is I want to change the attire of this character. So I'm going down and selecting the top wear section. And I'm going to choose an attire in which he would look more formal. I like the attire, but I want to change the color of this shirt. How can I do that? If I scroll up, you can see you have options. Change the color of this attire. I'm going to choose a different color. I think I'm fine with this color, but I want to choose a different bottom wear. I'm going to the bottom wear section. I'm fine with this bottom wear, but I want to change the shoes into more formal one. So I'm going to the footwear section and select a more formal footwear. Once you are done creating your character, you just click on the save icon present on the right hand side top. You click on it, it will save the character. Once you are done creating your character, I'm going back to the project that we created earlier. I'm going to refresh this page. Even if you are creating a character in the middle of a project, you don't have to worry that you might lose your project as you are refreshing it because Animaker has an auto save option. So every change you make will be saved. So as you can see here, the new character that I created appears. So I'm selecting it. Once I selected the character, you can see a new purple bar appeared on the bottom, right? This purple bar indicates the duration for which this character is going to be visible. If I drag one of its edges, say if I'm dragging it to till the sound second, it means this character is going to be visible till the sound second. Let's see what we did now. As you can see here, this character is visible now and it will disappear after the sound second. So by using this purple bar, you can control the visibility of the character. And you would have also noticed the duration of the scene is 10 seconds. In Animaker, default duration of each scene is 10 seconds. But if you want to increase or reduce the duration, you can do that by using the options over here. If you click on this plus icon, it will increase the scene time by 1 second. And if you click on this negative icon, it will decrease the scene time by 1 second. I think 10 seconds is more, so I am going to reduce the scene to around 7 seconds. I'm again selecting this character. So for each character, you have more than 500 different actions and 20 plus different expressions. I'm going to choose an action in which he looks like walking. 
I'm fine with this character, so I'm selecting it. But I want him to look a little more happier, so I'm going to the expressions section. I'm going to select this happy reaction over here. I'm fine with this. We have applied an action, but still he's moving on the same place, right? Can we make him move across between two different points? Yes, you can do that. So with every character or object you bring into the workspace, there's a set of menu opening along with this character or object. This is called the item menu. So in this, we have an option called smart move. We're going to make use of it to make this character move between two different points. So I'm selecting this smart move. Once I selected it, there are two keyframes appeared on timeline. So these keyframes indicates the position of the character. The first keyframe, I want this character to be out of the scene. And on the second keyframe, I want him to walk out of the scene. The distance between these keyframes indicates the duration for which this action is going to take place. Here, this character is walking. So if I keep this second keyframe, let's say in the fifth second, it means this character is going to take 5 seconds to walk across the scene. Let's have a preview of this animation. That was smooth and simple, right? It's as simple as that to do animation in Animaker. So we created a character on our own. We applied an action to it. We made him walk across the screen. But still, I'm sure many of you are not satisfied with this. You may want to bring in multiple action to this character, right? For example, let's say he walks into the scene and looks towards us and waves his hand and looks at us with his hands folded. That is three different actions, right? Yes, we can make him to do three different actions in a single stretch. But before I start doing that, I'm selecting this character and removing the earlier animation that we applied to this character. To add multiple actions to a single character, we are going to make use of a new option called Action Plus. Again, we are going to the item menu and here we have the Action Plus icon. If you click on it, you can see in the timeline, we have a new keyframe. And also on the right hand side, you would get options to edit the action and the expression of each of these keyframes. So the first keyframe is fine for me. So I'm adding a second keyframe. In the second keyframe, I want him to walk into the scene, but I want a different action. So I'm going to edit this action using the options on the right hand side. So I'm clicking on this edit button over here. I'd be able to add a new action to this character. I want an action in which he looks towards us waving. I'm fine with this action. So I'm selecting this green tick over here. But again, I want a new action. So I'm again adding a new action with this plus icon over here. And I want a different action. So again, I'm going to the action section over here and add a new action. I'm going to select an action in which he stands with folded hands. I'm fine with this action. I'm selecting it. So this action is applied, but I want to adjust the duration for these actions. So I'm going to the timeline. The same rule applies here. The distance between these keyframes controls the time duration between these actions. So I want him to walk to the center around two seconds and I want him to wave towards us till the fourth second and he'll be holding his hand from the fourth second. I'm fine with this action. Let's have a preview of this animation. Cool, right? We created a character, we gave an action to it, we made him walk, we made him to do multiple action. Still, what good is the animation without the characters talking, right? Yes, we're gonna see how to add voiceovers to your character. To add a voiceover, click on the character and here you have a small microphone like option called voiceover option. So if you click on it, you would get three different options to add voiceover to your character. First, you can directly record your voice. Second, you have a built-in text-to-speech engine. Or finally, you have an option to upload the pre-recorded voice that you already have. First, I'm going to show you how to directly record a voice using your microphone. So I'm going to the record voice option over here. So you can click on this blue icon and directly record the dialogue that you want your character to speak. Hi, I'm Joe. I'm a marketing ninja. So once you recorded your voice, you have option to have a preview of your voice. You can name the audio file. And if you give apply, it will automatically sync this dialogue to the character's action. Once the audio is applied, you can see the video timeline is opened. As you know, we made the character to walk into the scene and waves towards at the two second mark, right? So he's gonna speak this dialogue from that point. Let's have a preview of this scene. Hi, I'm Joe. I'm a marketing ninja. It's that simple to add a voiceover to your character in Animaker. Now I'm going to delete the audio that we uploaded now and show you how to add an audio using the text to speech engine present within the application. I'm going to the voiceover icon over here, selecting it, I'm selecting the text to speech option over here. Here you just type in the text that you want your character to speak.
once you type in the text you can also edit or adjust the way it is being spoken if you click on the icon over here you have options to adjust the speed the pitch and the volume of this sentence let's say i want to introduce pause between each of these sentence i want to add a pause after the word hi so i'm going to add a small break over here and after the word joe i'm going to again add a small break i'm fine with this you can also select between different gender and also within each gender you have different voices to choose from here i have us english as the language if i want to choose a different language i can also choose a different language accent i want to try a british accent so i'm selecting british english let's have a preview of this dialogue hi i am joe i am a marketing ninja if you are fine with the preview give sync if you are not fine with the preview again you can make changes to the dialogue i am fine with the dialogue right now so i'm going to give sync over here again i am adjusting the position of the audio in the video timeline now let's have a preview of this thing hi i am joe i am a marketing ninja that look really professional right so like this you can make use of the inbuilt text to speech engine to create professionally looking videos now we are going to see the final option for uploading a voice over into your videos so if you click on it it will automatically open the file explorer and you can select the file that you want to upload then you will be able to sync it with your character's action now as a final step i want to add a music track to this video to add a music track again i'm going to the asset section and down you have a section called music there you have a lot of royalty free music which you can make use of and all you have to do is you just hover over the music tracks and you can hear them when you are fine with a music track you just click on this plus icon over here it will automatically add that music track into your video timeline i'm going to reduce the volume of this music track so that i would be able to clearly hear the dialogue spoken so i'm going to the music track option so here and reducing the music volume let's have a preview hi i am joe i am a marketing ninja we have created a single scene like this you create multiple scenes to form a video you can duplicate a scene using the icon over here or you can delete a scene using the delete icon over here so once you are done creating your video go to the publish icon over here you click on it you will have option to publish your video across different social media channels but if you want to download your video into your pc then click on the download video option here you will have option to download your video on lot of different video quality once you are done choosing all the options you hit download once you click on it it will take a few minutes to render your video and you will be redirected towards download page so you can have a preview of your download you can directly download using the download icon over here you can edit it again or you can even share it using your mail id animaker is lot more than an animation creating app here you have a template section which has a lot of different templates and moments representing both personal and professional moments that you can simply click on and make use of and then you have your character section where you have a lot of pre-built characters and also you can build your own customized character next you have the property section where you have a lot of different shapes and other objects that you can make use of in creating your videos then you have the text section where you have a lot of pre-built text designs with animations and also you can create your own text using the text box over here next we have the background section with lot of different categories of backgrounds next you have the images gifs and videos to provide you with 100 million plus stock assets down you have the music section providing you with lot of royalty free music that you can make use of in your projects to put it in simple words animaker is your one stop solution for every video need aren't you excited to create your first animaker video go and check it out